It's quiet here right now, a far cry from what it will be at the start of next week. On Monday, the first of some 30,000 campers and adult leaders begin arriving to participate in the National Boy Scout Jamboree. It's an undertaking of breathtaking size, so big that planning begins years in advance. Well, you start about uh, two years ahead of time when you select a location to hold a jamboree, and uh, that's a little difficult to find because of the requirements of space and water and sanitation and uh, food supplies and all. And uh, when you get your site selected, then you start your planning to get the grounds laid out and put in the necessary facilities. Camp A.P. Hill, an Army installation about an hour and a half south of Washington, was picked as the site for this year's jamboree. For a week, beginning Tuesday, the scouts will sharpen and display their many skills. Daily schedules will range from competitive patrol events like flagpole raising to individual activities on the confidence course or maybe just simply living with nature. The theme of the jamboree is scouting's reunion with history, a theme selected with an eye toward the hoped for goals of this encampment. Well, we think they'll take home a new sense of American history from their experience of being in this area where so much of the early country's history is uh, cited. Despite the fact that they're called upon to pay their own way, for each of the young scouts here next week, this will literally be the chance of a lifetime. And for the adult volunteers, well, Ramsdale says it's simply a way of saying thanks. This is my eighth scout jamboree, and... Uh, I look forward to being able to be here and uh, support the activities. As a young man, I attended Jamboree Number 1, and so Jamborees meant a lot to my life, and I think I'm uh, paying back some of that debt. From the Scout Jamboree at Camp A.P. Hill, Virginia, I'm Andy Castles, Action News.